An animal believed to be the oldest living vertebrate in the world has been discovered. It is a shark that could be older than Shakespeare. The massive Greenland shark was found in the North Atlantic Ocean by scientists who estimated it is up to 512 years old. They used its size to suggest its year of birth is as early as 1505, when King Henry VIII ended his engagement to Catherine of Aragon. Experts used its length, a staggering 18 feet, and radiocarbon dating to determine its age as between 272 and 512 years old and according to a study in the journal Science. It was the oldest of a group of 28 Greenland sharks analyzed for the study. This study was carried out by lead author Julius Nielsen, a marine biologist from the University of Copenhagen. The team looked at 28 sharks, most of whom had died after being caught in fishing nets as bycatch. We had our expectations that we were dealing with an unusual animal, but I think everyone doing this research was very surprised to learn the sharks were as old as they were. The former vertebrate record holder was a bowhead whale estimated to be 211 years old, but the Greenland shark seems to be the one with the title now. Scientists have suspected for a while that Greenland sharks lived extremely long lives, but they didn't have a way to determine how long. The age of other shark species can be estimated by counting growth bands on fin spines or on the shark's vertebrae, much like rings on a tree. Greenland sharks, however, have no fin spines and no hard tissues in their bodies. Their vertebrae are too soft to form the growth bands seen in other sharks. As a result, scientists could only guess that the sharks lived a long time based on what they knew. But recent breakthroughs have allowed scientists to use carbon dating to estimate the age of Greenland sharks. Inside the shark's eyes, there are proteins that are formed before birth and do not degrade with age, like a fossil preserved in amber. Scientists discovered that they could determine the age of the sharks by carbon dating these proteins. The scientists used radiocarbon dating to measure carbon isotopes absorbed by Greenland sharks' eye tissue, working with sharks that were captured as bycatch. The tissue gave them a range for the sharks' ages, they were at least 272 years old and as much as 512 years old. The two biggest sharks, and probably the oldest, were estimated to be 335 and 392 years old, respectively. And the midpoint of the range, the most likely single year age in the 272 to the 512 year range, was 390 years. It's important to keep in mind there's some uncertainty with this estimate. But even the lowest part of the age range, at least 272 years, which still makes Greenland sharks the longest living vertebrate known to science. This discovery will suggest its year of birth as early as 1505, when King Henry VIII ruled England, Leonardo da Vinci was painting the Mona Lisa, Christopher Columbus was exploring, and before Michelangelo began painting the ceiling of the Sistine Chapel in Rome. Greenland sharks, which only grow one centimeter a year, have been known to live for hundreds of years. A team of international researchers has used special technology to find that Greenland sharks can live to become more than 400 years old, making this type of shark the longest-lived vertebrate known on Earth. The researchers have mapped out all the shark's mitochondrial DNA, which is genetic material held in tiny battery-like compartments in cells that supply energy to the body. Now they are working on DNA from the cell nucleus, which contains most of the animal's genes. It's like a living time capsule. Many were so old they predated the Industrial Revolution and the introduction of large-scale commercial fishing. Meaning the shark would have been alive during major world events such as the founding of the U.S. 1776, the arrival of the first fleet at Botany Bay, NSW, 1788, both World Wars, 1914-1918 and 1939-1945, and the sinking of the Titanic, 1912. Samples from three sharks showed evidence of the bomb pulse which is a sudden increase of carbon caused by nuclear bomb tests that were conducted above ground after World War II signaling that those sharks were less than 50 years old and they were between 2 meters and 20 which surpassed the researcher's hypothesis of the sharks being less than 25 years. The Greenland shark is also known as the Guri shark, or gray shark is a large shark of the family Somniosity, sleeper sharks, closely related to the Pacific and southern sleeper sharks. The distribution of this species is mostly restricted to the waters of the North Atlantic Ocean and the Arctic Ocean.
The Greenland shark has the longest known lifespan of all vertebrate species which is estimated to be between 250 and 500 years and is among the largest extant species of shark. It is a generalist feeder, consuming a variety of available foods. As an adaptation to living at depth, it has a high concentration of trimethylamine N oxide in its tissues, which causes the meat to be toxic to humans if ingested and yes people do eat the shark. It's a delicacy in Iceland. The meat is treated for safe consumption by boiling in several changes of water, drying, or fermenting for several months. Traditionally, this is done by burying the meat in the boreal ground for 6-8 weeks, which presses the chemical out of the meat and also results in partial fermentation. The meat is then dug up and hung up in strips to dry for several more months before being eaten by the natives. The Greenland shark is one of the largest living species of shark. It usually grows 6.4 meters, 21 feet, long and weighs 1,000 kilograms, 2,200 pounds, and possibly up to 7.3 meters, 24 feet, and more than 1,400 kilograms, 3,100 pounds. Most Greenland sharks observed have been around 2.4 to 4.8 meters, 8.0 to 15.7 feet, long and weigh up to 400 kilograms, 880 pounds and the males are typically smaller than females. The Greenland shark is a thickset species, with a short, rounded snout, small eyes, and very small dorsal and pectoral fins. The gill openings are very small for the species' great size. Coloration can range from pale creamy gray to blackish brown, and the body is typically uniform in color, though whitish spots or faint dark streaks are occasionally seen on the back. The Greenland shark is an apex predator and mostly eats fish, and has been observed actively hunting seals in Canada. The prey found in the stomachs of Greenland sharks is an indicator of the active hunting patterns of these predators. Recorded fish prey have included smaller sharks, skates, eels, herring, capelin, cod, rosefish, and flounder. Greenland sharks, because of their slow speeds, often hunt prey that is asleep. Using their cryptic coloration, they can approach prey undetected before closing the remaining distance by opening their large buxal cavity in order to create a suction that draws in the prey. This is the likely explanation as to why the gut contents discovered in Greenland sharks are often whole prey specimens. Greenland sharks have also been found with remains of seals, polar bears, moose, and reindeer, in one case an entire reindeer body, in their stomachs. The Greenland shark is known to be a scavenger and is attracted by the smell of rotting meat in the water. As both scavengers and active predators, Greenland sharks have established themselves as apex predators in Arctic ecosystems. Although such a large shark could easily consume a human swimmer, the frigid waters it typically inhabits make the likelihood of attacks on humans very low, and no cases of predation on people have been verified. Due to living in a freezing environment, the Greenland shark has the lowest swim speed across all fish species, which most likely correlates with its very slow metabolism and extreme longevity. It swims at 1.22 km per hour, 0.76 miles per hour, with its fastest cruising speed only reaching 2.6 km per hour, 1.6 miles per hour. Because this top speed is only half that of a typical seal in their diet, biologists are uncertain how the sharks are able to prey on the faster seals. It is hypothesized that they may ambush them while they sleep. As recently as 1957, females were found not to deposit eggs in the bottom mud, but retain the developing embryos within their bodies, so they are born alive, a process known as oviviviparity, after an estimated gestation period of 8 to 18 years. About 10 pups per litter are normal, each initially measuring up to 38 to 42 centimeters, 15 to 17 in, in length. It has been estimated that due to their extreme longevity, Greenland sharks can have 200 to 700 pups during their lifetime. One theory to explain this long lifespan is that the Greenland shark has a very slow metabolism, an adaptation to the deep, cold waters it inhabits. An NOAA remotely operated vehicle doing a dive off New England encountered a Greenland shark at a depth of 783 meters, but these sharks are known to dive as deep as 2,200 meters. They're also the only shark that can withstand the cold waters of the Arctic Ocean year-round. The Greenland shark has the longest known lifespan of all vertebrate species. 
An experiment was conducted on one Greenland shark as it was tagged off the coast of Greenland in 1936 and was later recaptured in 1952 in hopes of finding out how fast they had grown in the interim. Its measurements suggest that Greenland sharks grow at a rate of 0.5 to 1 cm, 0.2 to 0.4 in, per year. The researcher also concluded that the species reaches sexual maturity at about 150 years of age. Knowing how long it takes the sharks to reach sexual maturity is key to understanding their resilience. If an animal reaches maturity in two years, it will replenish fast. A Greenland shark's age of maturity is at least 134. If you take out 10 sharks, it could be 100 years before those 10 are replaced. As a result, efforts to conserve Greenland sharks are particularly important due to their extreme longevity, long maturation periods, and the heightened sensitivity of large shark populations. Mother Nature is capable of some incredible things, creatures that swim the ocean depths are notoriously difficult to observe in their natural habitat, and there is still much to be learned about many species that have been known to science for decades, and Greenland sharks are no exception. We hope you enjoyed the video and that it was informative. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching us. See you next time.